At Queenstown Airport, we're proud of the role we play in connecting our region to New Zealand and the world. After listening to the voices of our local communities and developing some ambitious goals of our own, we're now ready to present our draft master plan for creating an airport to be proud of. This video explains some of the details in our draft master plan. However, it's still a draft. We want to hear your thoughts and ideas. But first, let's take a look at what it involves. We are planning for modest and sustainable growth of about 3% per year. That equates to 3.2 million passenger movements by 2032. Crucially, we'll stay within the existing noise boundaries and won't seek to expand these in the next 10 years. We're already talking to all airlines that fly to Queenstown about using new, quieter and more fuel-efficient aircraft. We also fully support Queenstown Lakes District's ambitious target to be the world's first carbon zero tourism destination by 2030 and are working with our colleagues at Destination Queenstown and Lake Wanaka Tourism to achieve our net zero plans. We need to be able to rapidly adopt new, more sustainable aviation technology as it becomes available. That's why we will allocate space for sustainable aviation and alternative fuels. We intend to move general aviation operations, consolidating helicopter activity north of the runway and fixed-wing activity south of the runway, which will reduce noise for many Frankton residents and make our airport more efficient. To help separate domestic and international passenger flows, we plan to create an additional aircraft parking stand. While our plans to create a parallel taxiway will significantly reduce delays, improve safety, and help airlines to reduce fuel usage and associated emissions on the ground and in the air. And in a first for Australasia, we plan to build an Engineered Materials Arresting System, or EMAS, to help make Queenstown Airport even safer, and enable an aircraft to stop safely in the unlikely event it overran the runway. We also plan to improve our terminal and transport links to provide a smoother experience between air and land. We want to modernise parts of the existing terminal to deliver a better customer experience and to improve the airport's resilience and sustainability. This would be particularly important if there were a major earthquake or other disaster. To allow us to do this, and to create a more adaptable and open space with separate departures and arrivals processes, we propose to extend the terminal to the south. Outside the terminal, we'll provide better accessibility and improved connections to local public transport networks, while also providing more active travel options, including the proposed green link connecting the terminal to the lakeside cycle path and the ferry on Lake Whakatepu. We also have plans to develop our land around the airport to enable economic diversification, promote the local economy, and create broader employment opportunities. While protecting the important heritage assets and buildings at Aranmore Farm, and preserving what makes our region such a remarkable place to live, work and visit. We want to thank the community members who have already contributed to this draft plan. Now we want to hear from you. We are launching a formal consultation process on the draft master plan, which you can read in full on our website, and you can provide feedback in a number of ways. With your support, we will create a world-class airport that showcases the very best of our region and that we can all take pride in.